about Alton Meyer. You would have fits. Things would break. Cars would shut down, that kind of thing. Midnight Special is the latest film from Jeff Nichols, the director of Shotgun Stories, Take Shelter, and Mud. This time he's teamed up again with Michael Shannon, but with a sci-fi twist. The film follows as a father does everything he can to protect his son Alton, who is gifted with mysterious powers that attract the attention of the NSA. They go on the run in hot pursuit of the government as they try to reach a destination that Alton is meant to arrive at, at a specific time. Nichols has stated that the film is inspired by Steven Spielberg's E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Another point of reference is John Carpenter's underrated 1984 film Starman, which also follows as its main characters evade the government on a cross-country chase. As Jenny Hayden, played by Karen Allen, tries to help a bean from outer space, played by Jeff Bridges, who has come to Earth after finding an invitation on a record sent up with Voyager 2. Curiously, the alien takes the form of her late husband. In stark contrast to Carpenter's typically cynical and dark portraits of humanity, Starman is ultimately a film about being human, a beautiful one that finds transcendence in pure emotion. The arc of the film follows as Jeff Bridges' Starman learns about what it means to be a person, at first through mimicry, but eventually through real experience. In the beginning, Jenny's frightened and reluctant to help him with his task, essentially having been kidnapped. She tries to escape, but realizes quickly it's a futile endeavor. It becomes evident that the Starman means no harm, and soon Jenny is in the role of teacher explaining language, customs, and feelings to the curious alien. A little bit. Jumpy's like, nervous, afraid. You know that word, afraid? Afraid, yes. Um, women, me. Men, you. The Starman's journey is one of discovery. But Jenny has a journey of her own to rediscover her capacity to love and feel, to cope with loss and to embrace life. You find love. Love is love. It's when you care more for someone else than you do for yourself. But it's not just that, it's... It's when someone is a part of you. Meanwhile, a side plot involving an extraterrestrial specialist from national security is where John Carpenter's usual societal critique is located, with some not-so-kind sentiment directed towards the US government and the military. But more than anything, Starman is a unique entry in a filmography otherwise defined by horror, thrillers, and action. Made at the peak of his powers after The Thing, Carpenter wanted to make something that broke away from his perceived identity. Unfortunately, it performed poorly at the box office, and all but secured the director's fate as a misunderstood artist who wouldn't fully break out with critical and commercial success. The film's setup of having the Starman learn about humanity from Jenny creates a dynamic wherein the fundamental characteristics of being a person are made to seem remarkable. In a sci-fi film supposedly about a creature from another planet, the real subject is the human heart. The Starman's naivety allow Carpenter and the spectator to see life anew. As with Midnight Special, the pretense of a supernatural plot is just a way of framing a deeply human tale. From the director best known for pioneering the modern slasher film with Halloween and creating subversive pulp like They Live, Starman is served straight up, a movingly genuine tribute to vulnerability and love.